So two days ago on this channel, I uploaded a video asking, is Cold War Zombies complete trash? Some footage was leaked and I wasn't sure if it was any good. Now on the video, I had a lot of people uh, disagree with me and agree with me, but mostly disagree. But I promised you guys after the game came out and I played it, and I have now for around six or seven hours, that I would review it again, telling you, is it actually trash? And does it ruin zombies forever? What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen there, I'm Trello, back to a brand new video. Guys, we're so close to 2K subscribers. We want to hit it by the end of the year. So if you enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe. So like I said, I've played Cold War for a pretty good amount of time now. Uh, seven, eight hours. I've had about mm, six or seven playthroughs. And one of them, I almost completed the Easter egg, getting to the boss fight, but died on it. And I'm going to give the review early. From a scale to one to ten, Cold War Zombies is a 6 out of 10. Which is a D bro, that, that's passing. And my opinions have changed heavily from the last video. Seeing the leaked footage of zombies was not looking that good, but actually playing it, it was okay. The zombies experience now is definitely accustomed to new players. Like there's stuff on the map that tells you where to go, there's the mini map, there's all types of things that you don't really have to explore as much as you already kind of know where it is. Like we said in the last video, this is a more multiplayer based zombies. You have the mini map, you have all these tools, because you're not really a character as much as you are an operator dropping into a zombies map. Starting with weapons and creating a class, I thought that was all mm, a little bit phony, but after getting used to it, it's not that bad. You can customize your weapons, which is kind of lame, and already start with all your attachments, but it doesn't really matter because the weapons kind of fall off pretty quickly anyway when you need to pack a punch them. They have a very Warzone type feature that when you like switch out a weapon in the box or drop a gun in general, it stays on the ground for you to pick up, and I'm not really a big fan of that. I feel like that's very, very multiplayer-like, almost like using the same exact mechanics, and when you kill the mini boss for the key card which you need for the easter egg it also like drops a key card that you have to pick up so it looks like items are going to be more given that way than anything else also now there's ethereum crystals which you can use to upgrade your perks and like weapon classes outside of the game and i don't really i'm not a big fan of that type of stuff where you're directly upgrading like your perks even though it's the same perk but at the same time none of the none of the upgrades are that overpowered so it's nothing to be too angry about but still i i'm not a big fan of that type of system dude it really really sucks that there's only one map. I mean, Dime Machine is okay, but it's not that big. The Easter egg's not that hard, and it doesn't feel like there's that much content in the map. Now, of course, it's a new map, and Easter eggs and side Easter eggs have to be found every day, but at the same time, I feel like there's not that much to do. Like, if you're not doing the Easter egg, there's not a lot to progress to. I feel like after a lot of playthroughs, I might get bored of the map just because it's small, and that's okay because I kind of like the size, but I don't know if it was a great start to a first map. Like in Black Ops 3, Shadows of Evil dropped and Shadows of Evil was amazing. There was so much to do, there was so much to discover. This map is pretty straightforward. You know, you go down to the facility, you turn on the power, you get pack a punch, and then you're just kind of there. The Dime Machine Easter egg was way easier than any Easter egg I've seen probably since Black Ops 2. I mean, you can get it done in a short amount of time. People are already speedrunning it in 35 minutes. Like, it's it's an okay Easter egg, but I wouldn't really call it fun, and you know, it's whatever. The problem with this game is that Black Ops 4 Zombies wasn't really amazing. It didn't really blow anybody away. A couple of the maps were okay, like 9 and Blood of the Dead were great, but this game really needs to step it up really just blow everyone away back to the days of black ops 3 but it didn't really seem to deliver it, and it seems to be a very okay average zombies experience now my rating right now like i said is a 6 out of 10 but that can be bumped up to maybe a 7 or even a 7.5 depending on the future maps i do like however how the pack a punch works now i like how you can upgrade your weapon three times one for 5k one for 10k one for 30k you can put elemental upgrades on your weapon i like the wonder weapon of the map i like how there's four elemental upgrades it reminds me of voyage of despair from uh, Black Ops 4 and Horizon Track from Black Ops 3. I'm thankful that perks are back. Black Ops 4's perk system just didn't really work for anybody, and I'm happy that the base perks are back. They even added a new perk. In conclusion, I don't think this Zombies is going to be a hit. I think it's going to be all right for a little bit, and I think it's decent. It could be worse. If this game didn't have a good multiplayer, I probably wouldn't buy it. I really only bought Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 for the Zombies, and this game, I wouldn't really buy it just for the Zombies. I just don't think it can hold itself that well as its own game mode right now and uh maybe in the future when new maps come out but for now man it's 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 a tad bit disappointing overall those are my thoughts on dime machine and zombies overall let me know what you guys think of zombies if you're enjoying it or not why you enjoy it or why you hate it i really hope they drop some banger maps pretty soon here to really step it up but other than that we're just gonna have to wait and see hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content and as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace out